back in BGC tonight. This is Bonifacio Global City, premier city here in Metro Manila. And one of the things that's great about living in a premier lifestyle city are the nightclubs. So the nightlife here in BGC is of a different caliber than you're gonna find in Poblacion. Poblacion has a different feel, as you've seen probably if you've watched any of my recent videos. BGC, however, tends to have a bit more of an upscale vibe, which also sort of translates to an up wallet vibe, if you know what I mean. Tonight we're gonna to take a look at Xylo. Xylo is a premier club here, really nice. Uh, you can get standing tables in here, you can get big couches in here, you can get private vestibules in here. We'll take a look at some of that and uh, what a good time it can be. They tend to say if you want like a little more of that, uh, what do they call that? They call it EDM. It sounds like, sound like I'm old. Silo has more of an EDN feel than say Club Royal in Makati, which we'll also take a look at tonight. Royal's a bomb time, totally different vibe, totally different uh, game, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, your, your BGC game is gonna have to be a little different than your Makati game. We'll talk a little bit about that too, but I uh, don't want y'all to think I'm a player or anything like that. This is Uptown BGC. You can see the uh, Uptown Tower 1 office buildings where I, I used to work, actually. And below that is the Uptown Mall. And then, of course, the food trucks. There are a lot of little stalls out here, food stalls and stuff. Um, rather well-priced for BGC. And, of course, condo land. Like, the condos are just everywhere. If you want to live in the lap of urban luxury, BGC has got you covered. Let's see if we can uh, take a look at some of these food stalls down here. It's been about two years since I have lived in BGC, and uh, a lot of this is new. That's great. It's fucking fun, man. Totally fucking fun.
Poblacion Makati? Probably. Not any problem. This is the best club in Makati. Definitely one of the top three in Manila. And there are a lot of different club options in Manila. But tonight we're talking nightclub vibe. We're talking dance club vibe. We're talking hookup vibe. One ride away from SMR, it's uh, eight pesos in a Jeep. It's just so loud here. The Kinley Hills, about a five minute walk from BGC, where the SMR Premier Mall is. And the Kinley Hills is another very nice first world vibe, overpriced. <laughs> location where there's lots of condos and shopping. So the major draw about McKinley Hills is the Venice Canal Mall, which is kind of an oddity, a novelty for the Philippines, I, I would say. Anyway, yeah, it's nice to spend a day here. Some good restaurants. You can see the Mai Tai restaurant there behind me. Uh, there's some decent shopping here. It's probably overpriced like the rest of McKinley Hills, but you know, there are some places you have to go to get certain items and there's just no way around that. I am going to check out the market here today. I got to pick up some organic, unsweetened almond milk for my protein shake. And I realized I'm going to have to make sure that that product does not come from the EU. Because as I was saying, they have now allowed for, mandated, uh, pushing insects ground up insects in processed foods in the EU. So, yeah, call me crazy, but uh, I'm not eating bugs. They say they have to label it, and they will, but they're not gonna say, oh, this product contains insects, oh, this product contains bugs, unless it's like a novelty product that's like a chocolate coated cricket or something. And it is house crickets that they have mandated to put into the food. So, what they're gonna put is the, uh, binomial nomenclature of the species. So you either brush up on your Latin, start reading those ingredient lists. There's this hidden little bar upstairs in the Tambay Alley, which is right next to H&J. And, and uh, it's kind of got like two different like genres going on, right, Tambay Alley. 
One is kind of like a chill bar, yakitori food and stuff. <laughs> the other one is like a like a lounge vibe. It's dark in there. You got to get a bottle to get a couch in there. But no uh, friends. I mean, it's it's like it looks like nothing from the outside. But uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. And and it's cheap, Bruce. It's one of the other spots besides Wicked Dogs that actually has really well priced liquor for this area in Poblacion. If you enjoyed the quick look at a couple of these premier nightclubs here in Metro Manila, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, maybe subscribe, or uh, consider joining the channel as a member. Also, take a look at one or two of these other playlists where I feature a ton of other content with different types of bars, nightclubs, and restaurants that you're going to find here in fabulous Metro Manila.